If all that America wants is security, they can go to prison. They'll have enough to eat, a bed, and a roof over their heads. But if an American wants to preserve his dignity and his equality as a human being, he must not bow his neck to any dictatorial government. The words of Dwight D. Eisenhower, the US leads the world in incarcerations, even way ahead of China and Russia, which is genuinely disturbing. Well, I don't believe the American people are keen to bow their heads to the tyrants of this world, save for a few Republican ghouls, I suppose. Politics would be a hell of a business if it weren't for the goddamn people. That's attributed to Nixon, I think. Sounds like something Tricky Dick would say. What a character. The best political weapon is the weapon of terror. Cruelty commands respect. Men may hate us, but we don't ask for their love, only for their fear. The words of one Heinrich Himmler. Don't it make you feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside? Cruelty does not command respect, of course. It engenders hate. Hate and respect are not the same thing. Or perhaps they are if you're a Nazi pea brain. Here's one from an astronomer rather than a political figure. It is clear that the nations of the world now can only rise and fall together. It is not a question of one nation winning at the expense of another. We must all help one another or all perish together. Carl Sagan, underrated American philosopher known for his enthusiastic explaining and imparting of science and its fruits to the lay person. Yeah, always loved his Cosmo series as a kid. His wise words here, sadly wasted on many folks, I suspect. There is no act of treachery or meanness of which a political party is not capable, for in politics there is no honour. So said Benjamin Disraeli, two-time Prime Minister, of the UK in the 19th century, and a man who you could say helped shape the modern Tories up to a point. Yeah, and is not backstabbing, self-serving, ruthless careerism still the order of the day in the 21st century? If you could resurrect the first Earl of Beaconsfield and put him in the House of Commons today, it wouldn't be completely alien to him, one suspects. The radical of one century is the conservative of the next. The radical invents the views. When he has worn them out, the conservative adopts them. Mark Twain. Yeah, this one makes me think of China. The revolutionaries, once the rebels, now the establishment, communist party with a firm grip on power. But maybe the party's not the same animal entirely as it was under Chairman Mao. Although now we have Chairman Xi, it seems, consolidating power. Democracy cannot succeed unless those who express their choice are prepared to choose wisely. The real safeguard of democracy, therefore, is education. Franklin D. Roosevelt Yep, bigots who call themselves patriots in large enough numbers can erode or even murder free societies. And these 
sorts of people a lot of the times. The ones who will talk about enemies within. Yeah, these are the kind of people who will be or become a genuine threat, they themselves being the actual enemies of democracy and the principles on which it stands. Let's finish with some Marx. Not Carlo. Groucho. Politics is the art of looking for trouble, finding it everywhere, diagnosing it incorrectly, and applying the wrong remedies.